Oh, hey there. Good morning. How's everybody doing? BRG Pictures here. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit today about my top three photos from the 2020-2021 winter season here on Oahu. Uh, man, where do I even start with this? First of all, like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, the more people subscribe, the, uh, the better it is for everybody. So please, uh, please, if you're watching this video, just hit that like button and uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's totally free. It doesn't like take away from your status. If you subscribe to more people, then subscribe to you. Nobody knows. There's no way of knowing. Uh, so yes, please subscribe. Thank you very much. All right. So winter's officially over here on Oahu. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, it depends on how you look at it. Uh, it started out really strong. We got a lot of early season swells, and then all of a sudden there was a huge dry spell. Um, it was a La Nina year, which typically means more wind um, and less swells. This year was kind of different. It didn't really act like La Nina initially. It acted more like El Nino, um, but then it ultimately ended up being La Nina. Minus the really late season swell we got in May, May 1st of uh, 2021. It's pretty crazy. It's kind of like proper pipeline swell in May. It doesn't really happen very often. Actually, it's been I forget, I heard something about it. It's been like a long time since that happened, like 30 years or something. Could be wrong, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, so summer's upon us. It is May 26th right now, and uh, there's actually a south swell today. So I'm gonna head to town after I shoot this and go shoot uh, in the water there. But, uh, but yeah, let's just hop right into this. Woo! All right, so let's get right into this. So my third favorite photo of the season was this picture that I got, um, you see it here on the screen here in a second. Um, so basically, uh, I was running a little bit slower of a shutter and I was tracking this guy. Actually, I can't remember this guy's name. Um, but anyway, I was, I was tracking him through this barrel. It was a really, really thick wave. And uh, I actually did not get in the water this day. This day was pretty hectic out there and uh, definitely was not the most inviting for me to be swimming. There weren't too many photographers in the water. It was just a little bit too crazy of a swell, kind of a second reef day, um, but it was washed through the channel pretty significantly. So yeah, the reason I like this picture, and uh, I also chose to do it in black and white, even though the, um, the original with the color is like spectacular, but black and white just gives a little bit more of an ominous feel. Um, the wave looks like it's swallowing this guy whole as he's kind of check turning the stall, uh, which is incredible the amount of poise he's showing here because this wave is super thick. I mean, this is like one of the thickest pipeline waves I think I've, I've seen, um, at least in person. And uh, yeah, he's, he's check turning the crap out of that and he's stalling, getting ready to just get barreled and shot out of like a cannon. I think that's actually what happened. Um, there's a video somewhere on YouTube of this day, uh, and I think, uh, I think this wave is on it, um, or is in the video. Not one of my videos at all, I did release a video, this is from Christmas Eve, so 24 December of 2020. Pretty epic swell, probably one of the better ones I think, I think the only one that maybe countered it uh, would have been Valentine's Day, that was also pretty good. Um, but the Christmas Eve swell at Pipeline was probably the best, in my opinion, of the season. Like I said, did not get in the water that day. It was just a little too hectic for me. But um, the goal is to get into the water <laughs> and on days like that from here on out. But first season here, you know, full all, all year, so, um, or being here all year. So definitely got to ease your way into Pipeline because it's no joke. Um, but yeah, so that's my third favorite photo. Let's move on to number two. All right, numero dos. All right, so number two is pretty cool too. Actually, this is uh, the first print I ever sold um, that I have sold actually is of this photo. And uh, it was also on Christmas Eve. Um, I was shooting kind of up towards the, the bathroom um, there at the beach park at Pipeline. If you're familiar with Pipeline, there's a beach park there with a nice bathroom. And uh, yeah, I was up kind of like towards the bathroom with a big lens and uh, the light came up and it was just like, it was just like making the colors explode 
um, at Pipeline, which was uh, which was pretty epic. So yeah, let me throw this shot up on the screen for you real quick. And uh, yeah, so here it is. Basically, uh, it's this Koa, Koa Rothman, rather, um, and, a, uh, and a photographer. So this, this picture's cropped a little bit. It was actually a little bit wider. Uh, and there was one other guy in the photo and he was paddling across to try to get out of the way of this wave. And looking back at Koa as he's getting just absolutely shacked um, on this beautiful wave. The reason I cropped it is because there were so many people out in the water on this day, it was crazy. And the fact that it looks like it's just Koa and the single photographer on this like remote wave where nobody else is, just blew my mind. Not to mention the colors. Um, the colors are pretty phenomenal. And uh, yeah, it just, it just did it for me. It's just like a beautiful shot. It's kind of a, another slower shutter. Um, the wave is a little blurry and Koa is super crispy. And then the photographer is also pretty crispy. Uh, pretty interesting. How that how that works you know slow the shutter down you have to track the subject perfectly and that way they're in focus and uh and then everything that's moving around it is going to be just slightly blurred i love doing shots like that although they're like really easy to mess up so um, if you're off even just a little bit you're gonna miss it so i try to shoot like that as much as i can um, but sometimes super crispy is kind of the way to go so in this case, it worked out, which was cool. There was a few from this wave that I got, but this one specifically was my favorite because I was able to crop it down a little bit to get that other surfer out of the way, so it made it feel like super remote. So yeah, this is the second, second photo of my top three. Number three, or number one rather, number one, my bad. Top photo. All right, so let's move on to my favorite photo that I took. At pipeline in 2020-2021 season um, winter season so, woof, excuse me so yeah the this this photo this top photo isn't necessarily the best photo I took I think that the the prior two, the previous two that I just showed you I think those are actually what's my best photos those two the reason why this photo that I chose to be number one is um, the, the reason why I chose this photo to be number one is because I was in the water. Um, so it was, a, it was a smaller day, a pipe was maybe eight, eight to 10 feet, uh, maybe at most 12 um, foot faces, not, not Hawaiian. Uh, Hawaiian, you would double that. So it'd be like, you know, 16 to 24 feet. Um, no, like was not in the water for that. Uh, eight to 12 foot faces. Uh, still proper, you know, you still get pretty dinged up if you're in the wrong spot. Um, but I managed to, to be out on a day that it was a step up for me at that point. It was early season. I want to say it was like November, uh, middle of November time frame, and, uh, pretty, pretty cool to be in the water on that day. It was definitely pretty eye opening for me. Uh, first time swimming with like pipeline actually being like consequential and, uh, managed to get a few pretty cool shots out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up this shot. So like I said, you know, this, this shot isn't spectacular. Um, it, there's not really a crazy amount going on here, but I was in the water, you know, it's, I, I like the sky contrast with the wave. I like the, the whale tail coming off the back of the wave from the wind. Um, the clouds are pretty cool. And then obviously there's a guy that's pulling into a barrel. So. Pretty sweet. Um, I was shooting a 10 millimeter lens on a camera I don't even have anymore, in a housing I don't even have anymore. It was a Canon 7D Mark II with an SPL housing with a 10 millimeter lens. I don't have any of that anymore. Uh, I'm shooting this video on a Sony a7 III, and I took well, in most of my uh, most of my shots. Well, actually, all the shots that I showed you today were on this 1DX uh, with 400 millimeter uh, 1.5 or sorry, 5.6, I wish it was a 1.5, 5.6, uh, yeah, lens, but anyway, um, yeah, so this, this takes the cake because I was actually in the water, and, you know, the goal is every year that I'm here to step up, uh, the, the amount that I'm in the water at Pipeline, so, you know, I didn't want to bite off more than I could chew, 
Uh, pipeline is no joke. You know, people get really hurt there. People have died. A lot of people have died there. It's one of the most dangerous waves in the world. It's also one of the most spectacular waves in the world, if not the most spectacular. Um, so I was trying to step up um, swimming there. I did get in the water on May 1st, uh, which was the biggest that I had been in. It wasn't out for very long, maybe like 15 minutes. Uh, kind of got spooked out of there. It was, it was pretty big. Um, the goal this summer is to train really hard. Um, I already swim, you know, 15K a week and I run, you know, 20-ish miles a week, which isn't a crazy amount, but um, but I'm trying to get more comfortable um, being underwater, trying to get more comfortable in uncomfortable situations. So doing a lot of training in the pool, doing a lot of like really hardcore brick treading with then underwater stuff during, so your heart rate spiked like I'm treading with a camera and then I get smacked by a wave and get, you know, held down for a while. That's kind of the thought process. Um, the goal next season is to be in the water at pipeline more than I shoot from the beach this year. I definitely shot from the beach more than I shot from in the water. Um, I want to reverse that next year. And that doesn't mean I'm going to go out on the biggest days. It just means that I'm going to swim more there. Uh, so the in between swells, the swells that are, you know, just, just above, kind of the eight to 12 foot face, you know, maybe the 15 to 18 foot face days, you know, that's that's a serious jump. But, you know, if there's a channel and there's other people in the water, if like other photographers in the water, then you're probably gonna be okay. Um, it's just a matter of relaxing and having the training to fall back on because you're always gonna fall back on your training. You're not gonna rise to the occasion. It's like pretty st like standard stuff, you know. You, you can't wish yourself to be a better swimmer, to be a better waterman or or water woman, you have to like put in the time and the effort to get to that point. So that's what I'm doing. Um, probably gonna shoot a lot of South stuff this season. Uh, I already shoot a lot at Sandy, so I'll be shooting there. Uh, I'm gonna try to go West uh, and shoot some consequential waves there. And then just shoot like Alamoana bowls and stuff this uh, this summer when it gets proper. Uh, that's, a, that's a decent like summertime training spot for pipeline, Alamoana bowls is. Uh, and then Sandy's, you know, can get pretty hectic. So that's a really good place to shoot. Definitely get thrashed there. I shoot there a lot as it is. I have been for the last year that I've been out here um, on Oahu, but uh, it, it's just it's just different because it's a beach break. You know, if you, if you get spooked, you just kind of like let yourself drift in and then before you know it, you're sitting on the beach. So um, it's not it's not nearly as, it doesn't feel as committing as pipeline. You know, pipeline, there's a lot of current, there's a lot of swimming involved. You know, you're, you're kind of constantly swimming away or towards, depending on which way the, the current's going. And then, you know, getting in can be tricky depending on the day too. So, um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm headed from here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, make sure you check out all my other ones. I have some videos that are doing pretty well. Um, the, uh, the three waves of the Bonsai Pipeline video was shot on the same day that I shot the first um, the first, my favorite photo that I just showed you, I'll leave a, a little like tab up top. You can click there and watch it. That one's pretty cool. That gives you a feel for like what the waves were doing that day. Um, that was shot on a GoPro though, just so you know. So everything looks a little bit smaller. GoPro was mounted on top of my housing and I was shooting photos with my camera. Um, but yeah, like I said, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram for all the daily stuff. It's VRG Pictures. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments and stay tuned. Putting out a video every week or so. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Like I said, talk to you guys later. You.